I think what makes life really interesting is the unpredictability of it, that we do not know what's going to happen every day when we wake up till the time we go to sleep. Yesterday was no different. I received an email from Acorns, and because of that email, less than 24 hours later, I said, adios, Acorns. Flawless victory. Hey, what's up? I'm Russ, and this is Dapper Dividends, where we are working to make work optional through stock and crypto passive income. Now, I started this channel way back in March of 2020, calling it Stashing Worthy Acorns, because what I wanted to do was put $20 a month or $5 a week into Stash Worthy Bonds and Acorns and pit those three against each other for two years. And then after two years, we would see which one uh, produced the best results and then we would be cashing those out and taking our money and putting it towards a vacation that we're going to be taking in the summer of 2022. But things hit a bit of a snag when Worthy Bonds, because they can only list $50 million worth of bonds, and then they have to refile with the SEC. So that's been delayed, and I haven't been able to put any money into Worthy Bonds and then last night, I received this email from Acorns, which said, Dear Russell, to continue growing our technology business and team for you, our $1 subscription fee tier, Acorns Lite, will no longer be available as of September 21st. At that time, you will be automatically upgraded to Acorns Personal, and your subscription fee will be $3 per month, billed on your regular billing date. So on September 21st, 2021, the subscription fee is going to go from $1 of the lowest tier, which is what I was using, and I wasn't happy about that because on the $20 a month, that $1 a month was 5%. Percent. Now, they don't take that out of your balance, but they take that from your linked account. But still, it's all my money. So I wasn't happy about the 5% because that's really high, in my opinion, for a robo advisor. But now, going to $3 is a 200% increase, and that will make that a 15% expense on that $20 a month I'm putting in. And I just can't do that anymore. Paying 15% every month for a robo-advisor. Now, granted, the more money that you put in, the less that it will be of a percentage, but a lot of people using Acorns have lower balance amounts, so that is going to be a much higher expense ratio with the Acorns subscription fee. So what are the benefits of Acorns Personal? Let's take a peek by looking at what they included in the email. First up, the real-time roundups. Usually, your spare change, when you round it up, you'd have to wait till it accumulated $5 worth but with the personal you don't have to wait for five dollars they will automatically invest your spare change smart deposit will automatically invest a portion of each paycheck many other brokerages they do this as well so to me that's not really worth it acorns later basically an automated retirement account Many other platforms have the exact same thing. Acorn Spend, it's a checking account with a debit card. You don't need to pay $3 a month for the checking account with Acorns. Many other places have free checking. And then updates coming to the Spend, the Sustainable Portfolio, and the Roundups. Don't know what that means, but all in all, just not interested in the Acorns Personal for the extra $2 a month. So as of right now, I have officially close the account, it was really easy. I went on chat through the app, had to wait a few minutes, told them I wanted to close the account, and just like that, they took care of it, said all the funds will be sold, the balance will be deposited into my linked account, and that's it, we're done. Now, a lot of people like Acorns for the roundups that they do and making things automatic, but honestly, in this day and age, you can find that just about anywhere, and a lot of investors are hands-off investors. And if you didn't know, all that Acorns does is you pick one of five portfolios and they will distribute your money into one of several ETFs based on what they think would be considered aggressive or conservative. So what I've done is I've went through all of their portfolios that you could choose from and broke it down and you have this cheat sheet, so nicely done here, that will show you exactly the allocation percentage 
into each of the ETFs that they use in their portfolio. So if you wanted to, you could take that elsewhere and just buy the ETFs yourself and not have to pay Robinhood, in my opinion, a very, very expensive premium to put your money into ETFs. So this is linked in the description below where you can see the construction of the Acorns portfolios. For example, we had the aggressive portfolio, which has an average expense ratio of 0.06%. What that means is I took the four expense ratios and averaged them out because whether they're at iShares, at BlackRock, or at Vanguard, you're still paying an expense ratio to those in addition to Acorns because it's not free for fund managers to run these funds. So they're very, very low expense ratios by in of themselves, but they're all basically about 0.06% except for the conservative, which is about 0.13%. So for example, in our aggressive portfolio, you can see that 55% of every dollar goes into the VOO, 30% goes into the IXUS, International Company Stocks, 10% into the IJH ETF, Medium Company Stocks, and 5%, 5 cents of every dollar will go into the IJR, the Small Company Stocks. Also in the description below is the Where Is My Money Invested link to Acorns where they show exactly all the funds and if you click on that, you will be taken to the fund prospectus where you can learn all about those funds. Now you may be wondering, where can you go if not for Acorns? Well, I love Schwab, but unfortunately at Schwab, you cannot invest fractional into ETFs, but you can do that at M1 Finance. Now I do not use M1 Finance, but I have heard many, many good things about M1 Finance. So I found this wonderful review by Listen Money Matters, which will be linked in the description below. Make sure to click on it, check it out, see if M1 is right for you. From what I can tell, it's free to use. You can buy pre-constructed portfolios or you can enter in your own ETFs and stocks and then how much money you would like allocated. So you could just take this cheat sheet, take the ETFs, plug them into M1 and then plug in the exact same percentages and voila, you are doing the same thing as Acorns without having to pay them three bucks a month. So while I was only depositing $20 a month, I just can't stomach paying 15% fee on that investment every month. So we've closed Acorns, we're out of it. I wanted to make this video so you're at least aware that Acorns will be upgrading you to the personal plan and charging $3 a month for that privilege. Let me know if you plan on sticking with Acorns, if you have Acorns. And speaking of being aware, did you know that GE is doing a reverse stock split? What's a reverse stock split? Well, don't look any further. Check this video here or here, wherever I decide to put it, and I will talk to you there.